Welcome to this AliCAD User Guide Tutorial 3 on more advanced drawings. In this tutorial, we will discuss drawing multiple parallel lines. This allows you to set up to 10 parallel lines to be drawn simultaneously with different offsets. If you've not already done so, check out our other tutorials. To begin with, we'll set up our paper size and scale. Select Settings, Drawing Settings, and change the paper size to A3 and the scale to 1 is to 1 millimeters. We need to set up the multi-line style. Select Settings, Multi-line styles, and the multi-line styles dialog is displayed. Click on Add, and type in the name for the new style, and click OK. We will add a further three lines, so we have 5 in total. Click in line 3, right click and select add a line. Click in line 4, right click, add a new line. Click in line 5, right click and add a new line. We can now set the offset. Click in line 1 and set the offset to 15. Click in line 2 and set the offset to 7. Leave line 3 as it is on 0. Click in line 4. Set the offset to minus 7 and line 5 to minus 15. You will notice that the sample is updated as the lines are inserted. We can now set the pen colors. Right click on each pen color and select a pen color from the palette. You can choose whichever colors you would like to use. Remember, right click, select the color and click on OK. You can also set the line styles from the drop down list. Click on the line style, click on the drop down list, and select the line style that you would like to use. You can also set the widths by clicking on the width, clicking on the drop down list, and selecting a width from the list that you would like to use. The seal end option seals off the ends as seen in the sample here. If you unselect it, you will see that the ends are left open. If you select it, the ends are sealed. You can also change the start angle and the end angle as required. Once you have set up your new multi-line style, Click OK. We will now draw using the multi line. Select Draw, Multi line, and click in the top left hand corner to indicate the start position of our multi line. You can select the multi line style from the drop down list. We will use the style that we created earlier. This icon takes us back to our multi line style dialog box. You can set the offset scale. A scale of 1 uses the settings that you created in your multi-line style. A scale of 2 would double those settings. And a scale of 0.5 would halve those settings. We will use a scale of 1 for this example. You can also set the justification. A zero justification runs on the center line of the multi-line style. A top justification runs on the topmost line of the multi line style, and a bottom justification runs on the bottommost line of the multi line style. We will use a zero justification for this example. Press the right arrow and move right 120. Press enter twice to move to that position and to lock the cursor in the position. Press the down arrow and move down 160. Press enter twice to move to the position and lock the cursor in the position. We will now use the tab key to tab across to the radius box and insert a radius of 50 and press enter. Press the left arrow and move left 120. Enter twice to move to the position. To end the multi line, right click and select close. Right click and select quit to end the function completely. 
That is one method of drawing using the multi-line style. We will now draw a perimeter and trace around it using multi-line style. Select Draw, Rectangle. Click in the top right hand corner of your page. Press the left arrow and move left 120. Enter just once to move to that position. Press the down arrow and move down 160. Enter twice to move to the position and to lock the cursor in that position. Right click and select quit. Select draw, multi line and click on the perimeter button. You'll be prompted to select a perimeter define method. Select the rightmost icon. This is the automatic tracking boundary. Click inside the rectangle and the parallel lines are added. Right click and select quit. You can create as many multi line styles as you require. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Look out for our next tutorial and visit our website to find out more about AliCAD.